President Biden tonight making it crystal clear the United States stands with Israel. The president making remarks four days after an unprecedented attack by Hamas militants on Gaza, which he called an act of sheer evil, adding Israel had a right to respond, a response that's killed more than 830 people in Gaza since the conflict broke out on Saturday, according to the Palestinian Ministry of Health. The death toll in Israel at more than 1,000, according to to officials there. The White House is also confirming at least 14 American citizens are among the dead and another 20 or more Americans remain missing. Some are among the more than 100 hostages being held by Hamas, including civilians, entire families and young children. Israel's retaliation for the initial bloodshed has been swift, pounding Gaza with deadly airstrikes. The military threatening a complete siege of the densely populated strip, displacing more than 100,000 people and sending mass groups of injured Palestinians to overwhelmed hospitals. Here at home, emotions are running high as New Jersey residents with families in Israel and Gaza wait for word on whether their loved ones are safe. Senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan reports. As rockets roared into Israel, people ran for cover. Hamas terrorists invaded kibbutzes going house to house. Shockwaves immediately rocked friends and family back in New Jersey, where Union County resident Tamara Sheff's friend now sent her frantic text messages. She read, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I cannot stop crying. I'm not okay. I'm all by myself. So immediately you take up, you take the phone. She's nine months pregnant. Rishef, who works with the Jewish Federation of Greater Metro West, tried to calm her friend, but later heard now his husband had been shot in the stomach. Both are hospitalized. As for Rishef's brother Shmuel, he's a reservist in Israel. I got a message um, last night in my family group. Uh, from Israel. My brother was drafted. He's one of thousands called up to join Israeli Defense Forces. That's hitting home here, too. And we were talking probably about, I want to say probably at least 100 North Jersey residents that are right now in the Israeli army and with a mass call up. And right now the numbers are 360,000 people called up. TNEC Councilman Mark Schwartz called from the airport in Frankfurt, Germany. He's one of the lucky few who've managed to get flights home. The Hamas attack caught many New Jersey families visiting Israel over religious holidays off guard. Now that most airlines have canceled service to and from Israel, getting home to Jersey won't be easy. We're expecting plane loads of people that will not be able to get out via United and via Delta, and we're going to have to get rebooked. You know, my, my, my big concern is making sure my family gets out of this country safe and is not uh, entangled and get caught up in, in the war uh, in any which way, shape, or form. Teenex Deputy Mayor Ellie Katz says his family has tickets to Dubai as many flee the war any way they can. Lakewood Rabbi Moshe Weisberg is currently staying near Jerusalem and describes a tense emotional atmosphere. He's already witnessed many burials. It's an extremely, extremely sad. I mean, my wife is actually sobbing now. We probably passed by it an hour ago and, and it's just the after effects of of seeing, you know, one after the other. Weisberg called the Hamas attack Israel's version of 9-11 and says it will only lead to more suffering. But it's clear that both Israelis and Palestinians will continue to die in this conflict. Pro-Israel supporters in Short Hills and across New Jersey rallied, promising U.S. support, as did President Biden. Israel's prime ministers vowed vengeance and retaliated by shelling Gaza and blocking all vital supplies into a territory where over half the population lives beneath the poverty line. Passaic County resident Najwa Al-Sadi says her sister and niece live in Gaza. They are destroyed emotionally and physically. They cannot sleep. Uh, they cannot, they don't have food. They don't have water. Uh, it looks like they may even lose the shelter that they have. Uh, no medicine is allowed to get in or out of Gaza. She says families keep moving from house to house, warned that more rockets are incoming from Israel. At rallies like this one in Patterson, Palestinians demanded to be heard. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! The Palestinian American Community Center called for an end to decades of Israeli occupation. We do not 
condone bloodshed. We don't condone the killing of any civilians. But this is a boiling point. And this is an opportunity for our leaders, for the international community to correct what is wrong. 75 years of occupation is too long. In order for us to see peace, we must first see justice. But in order for us to see justice, we must first see an end to the occupation of Palestine. But right now, there's no end in sight. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.